How do you get a one-armed liberal out of a tree? He wave at him. You'll just be out of there in no time at all. You know, y'all want to change in America. You got change. Americans should cheer. You had a 228,000 net jobs added nationally this past April and May. Continued job creation at this level helped many achieve the American dream. But... There's a big but here. 806,000 people decided to leave the labor force three times more than those who actually gained employment. So the decline in the national unemployment rate is up almost 7%. How you feeling now about change? Change ain't so nice. Waves and waves of immigrant minors is presented a crisis for Obama. So says the press here. I don't think it's a crisis at all. It's an opportunity, maybe one he even helped to craft. We don't know that, of course, but I got to tell you, it's a neat trick. It seems to be working pretty well. You get the kids over and the parents say, hey, every parent Aaron says, doesn't matter what color you are or where you're from, you want to care for kids. It's kind of a natural thing for most people, right? Send them back to Mexico City. I mean, what are you doing? Instead, they're transporting them to other cities. You got to kind of have a better system. But I know one thing for sure. They're all going to vote Democrat someday. Hey, the East Texas city of Pittsburgh, there's a restaurant there that's going out of its way to announce what they've recently done. They said, we're banning uh, same-sex couples from ever returning to a restaurant. We're only serving men who act like men. And <laughs> not like girly men. Big Earl's Bait House and County Store. That's kind of a cool name. And uh, the owner of it cited a three-year-old uh, company policy printed on a sign at the door that the establishment reserves the right to refuse service to anyone. I prohibit baggy pants and require that all men act like men and women act like women. Ha <laughs> ha, that's pretty straightforward and that's kind of a lawsuit looking to happen, but I hope they just hang right in there. The next couple of minutes, I want to show you excerpts of an old clip from a way back when. It's a little bit grainy. I don't know that it shows that well, but you'll get it. It's kind of cool. You'll get a long jail sentence if you do it today, <laughs> but you got to check it out. It's a Roy Rogers. You remember him? I'm so old. I remember him. We used to watch his shows all the time. It's a gun ad. And in the old days, kids watched these. I watched these ads. And you know what? I didn't go out and murder anybody. And everybody today said, ah, you got a gun picture in a school. And they closed the school down. Locked down now. That's just not the real world. I mean, this is a cool clip. Watch it with me. That's a pretty tricky head, isn't it? Partners, how would you like to surprise your pals like that? Well, you can with my new Roy Rogers Quick Shooter hat. It's by Ideal. And here's how the Quick Shooter hat works. Just press this secret button right here, and a replica of an authentic Western pistol pops out and fires. It's your secret weapon, even when they think you're unarmed. So get Ideal's new Roy Rogers Quick Shooter hat at your favorite store today, and you'll always be ready for anything. Ask for Ideal's new Roy Rogers Quick Shooter hat. <laughs> now, wasn't that cool? I mean, again, it's kind of old-time quality, but it's really cool. It kind of makes you think, what's wrong with the world today? You all come back tomorrow. We're going to have more fun tomorrow on the right edition. See ya.